How weird are you? Pretty weird if you're watching me. <laughs> See what I mean? One in 1.3 people, it says probability, but one in 1.3 people, is that a lot of people? Yeah, that means 0.3 people don't. So one in 1.3, like one out of one is 100%, and then we have 0.3 extra. So almost every single person talks to themselves. Yeah, I could see that, I, I talk to myself, so, so I guess I'm one in 1.3 people. You gotta be weird to not talk to yourself. Like who doesn't talk to themselves? Like before filming this video, I was literally walking around my house talking to myself, like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I am weird. Actually, I'm talking to myself right now. My whole job is talking to myself. I literally talk to a camera. Okay, I'm talking to a camera, so I'm not talking to myself. Enough of the talking, okay? One in 2.5 people. Okay, it says probability. I'm just gonna say people. Double dip. I double dip, but only if I'm the only one using the sauce. If I'm sharing sauce with other people, there's no way I'm double dipping. That's not polite, guys. But you know what I will do? I'll dip, bite it, flip it over, and double dip. I guess that is double dipping. Double dip if I'm sharing with people. So that way the side that I just bit isn't being double dipped. So it's technically called, not called double dipping because you're dipping in a different side. So it's not doubling, it's single dipping. Boom. One in three people talk in their sleep. How the heck do you know if you're talking in your sleep? I don't know if I talk in my sleep, guys, because obviously if I'm sleeping, there's no way I'm going to see if I'm talking because I'm sleeping. Maybe tonight I got to set up a camera to see if I talk in my sleep. And also, like, I don't think I've ever witnessed someone talking in their sleep because if someone is, is sleeping, it's going to be nighttime. I'm sleeping as well. Actually, you know what? That's a lie because some people have naps during the day. And I still, like, even if my dad's, like, he came home from work and he's sleeping on the couch, I don't think I've ever witnessed him talking in his sleep. But it is one in three people, so maybe I just haven't found that one person. Oh, now we're getting into the big numbers. One in 3.9, almost one in four people tell white lies. No, that's a lie. One in one person. Every single person tells a white lie. What's their example? When you buy an extra donut and tell the cashier that it's for a friend. Ah, because it's actually for them, but they're telling a white lie just to make it seem like they're not actually eating too. And I actually told a white lie the other day, guys. I just explained this on my Snapchat yesterday, but I'm assuming most of you guys don't subscribe to the Snapchat, but basically, actually I told two, which one's better? Okay, I'll tell the most recent one. So I just got back literally yesterday from Indianapolis because I was at VCon, baby. Gary V invited me to his conference, VCon. I've never been to anything like that, and, but it, it was pretty fun. I wasn't sure what to expect, but I, I had a good time. But on the plane, on the way there, I had to get two planes because there's no direct flights from Calgary, Alberta, which is where I am, to Indianapolis. So I had to stop. We had to stop in Denver then get on another plane and go from Denver to Indianapolis. Then on the way back, we had to go to Chicago from Indianapolis and then Chicago to Calgary. But now we're home. But anyway, on my flight from Denver to Indianapolis. Sorry, I'm talking about too many flights here. You guys are probably getting confused now. I'm speaking so fast because if I don't speak fast, then you guys will be like, this story is so boring. And then you'll skip to the next weird thing. But anyway, I'm getting to it. On the flight from Denver to Indianapolis, I was literally sitting at the very back of the bus, even though it's a plane. And when I got there, I was sitting in the middle seat. But when I got there, there's already some but he's sitting like in the window seat. And when I sat down, he, he instantly, he was probably like, I would say in his, in his 70s, but he instantly started talking. Like he would, he would not stop talking. Like, oh, so where are you coming from? Or no, he didn't say, he didn't start with that. But anyway, I ended up telling him that I came from Canada and he's like, oh, Canada, what are you doing here? And I could have said, I'm going to VCon, but then I would have had to explain what that is and why I'm going and everything. And that would have been way too confusing. So what I ended up doing is saying, I'm coming to visit family. <laughs> And it's like, oh, so have you been here? Be so have you been to Indianapolis before? And I was like, well, if my family lives here, then I gotta say yes. I gotta say I've been here before, even though I've never been to Indianapolis before. That was my first time. So I'm like, yeah, I've, I've been here before. And at this point, I was like, oh no, he's gonna ask like what part of Indianapolis they live in. And then, so what I, what my, what my plan is that I came up with is like, okay, so I'm traveling. I was traveling with two other, three other people, but only one of them was on the same flight with me. So I was like, okay, what I'm gonna say is if he asks wh what part of Indianapolis they live in, I'm gonna say. I forget. I, I went like so long ago. My, the last time I came here was so long ago, but I'm, I'm traveling with my brother. So, so he knows that was what I was going to say, but it never came to that. But then he asked me, so are you in school or, or do you work? And I was like, oh, I do both. <laughs> I don't, I'm not in school guys. But then he's like, oh, so what are you taking in school? And I was like, uh oh, what do I say? Uh, computer science. <laughs> and then he's like, Oh really? My daughter's a computer scientist. And I was like, oh crap. You better not start questioning me because I don't I don't know anything about I took one class in high school about computer science, but like I'm not an expert. But luckily he didn't end up questioning me more on that. He questioned me more on a bunch of other things. But the whole time I was like, okay, if he asks me where I work, what do I say? 
Like I'm not gonna say social media. The reason I didn't start off with saying like social media is because it's just so confusing to like explain. I don't even know. And you know, while I'm at it, I'm sorry, this is gonna be like the longest thing I talk about, but while I'm at it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys the other one. Cause I wide, I, I, I wide, I lied to my Uber driver. Wide, a white lie. See, I, I'm smart with the words. I didn't actually mean to do that, but cause it is pretty much has to do with the same thing. So I, I dropped off my Lamborghini. <laughs> it still seems weird saying it, but my, my Lamborghini, off had a place to get something done to it. And I got an Uber home. And when the Uber driver picked me up, of course, this guy was like the master speaker. Like he literally said, he thinks he, he thinks communication is like so important. He even went to school for like communication or something. So this guy is like a master talker. And of course, it's the person I decide to tell a white lie to. So he's like, so did I just pick you up from work? I was like, no, I was just drop it off my car. Oh, what car do you have? I could have said Lamborghini, but I didn't. <laughs> I said a Nissan. I do have a Nissan as well. My, well, it's actually at my parents' house now. They just... They just picked it up last time they came. Because now that I have the Lamborghini, I'm not gonna drive the Nissan. I didn't want to sell the Nissan because I love that car so much. I put a lot of like mods and time into that vehicle. And so I wanted to like keep it in the family. But of course, then he's like, oh yeah, what kind of Nissan? What, what year is it? How How is this reliable? Do, 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 do. And I just, oh man. And then later on, oh, so where do you work? I told him I work at Safeway. <laughs> I could have said I do social media, but I already lied about the Lamborghini, so I just decided to keep lying. Oh yeah, I work at Safeway. Well, it is a lie, because I don't work at Safeway. I used to work at Safeway back in 2018. And then, yeah, he keeps asking me like, oh, so are you in, in school? I was like, no, I'm taking a gap year. I'm not, not too sure what I want to go to school for yet. And it's like, why did I lie? But at the same time, it's sometimes entertaining to tell lies. I need to come up with a better lie. Like next time I get in an Uber, so what do you do? Oh, I own a pizza shop. No, I don't know. But I need to come up with something better. But then on the way back, like a different Uber dropped me off and my Lambo, <laughs> Lambo, my Lambo was backed into the, like one of the only, par not the only parking spot, but it was like one of the only vehicles in the front parking lot. And we pulled in and like drove right by it. And the guy was like, <laughs> is that your car? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> I kind of laughed because it's like, I could have been like, yes, yeah, my car. But like, I'm not like that. I just I was like kind of laughing like, yeah, like I'm super lucky to have that. Like, yeah, it's my car. And the guy just started laughing. He didn't think I was serious. <laughs> so the guy, yeah, he thought I was lying or not lying, just joking about it. Anyway, that's enough talking. Let's get into the next one. One in 4.6 people pick your teeth. Pick their teeth. People pick their teeth? I don't know any, I swear I don't know anybody that picks their teeth. But you're, they're telling me it's like 20%, they're telling me like 20% of the population pick their teeth. Some people skip dental floss and head to bobby pins, straws, and credit cards? Oh, well like with a, a, what do you call it? A toothpick, that would make sense. I thought they meant like, like this, like you're using your nails. Okay, that would make sense if they're talking about like toothpicks. One in 5.4% people, no, not percent. One in 5.4 people relieve cringy moments. You wanna sleep, but keep remembering when you called the teacher mom. Oh, relive, <laughs> that I said relieve. I was like, what, how do, you, how do you do that? I wish I could do that. But yeah, oh, there's so many, I'm not even gonna bring up the memories. I don't wanna think about them. One in 6.9 people pretend you're in a music video. This is me literally every single day. Like literally every single morning when I put on music, like when I'm lifting weights, I literally like, I jam out so hard. I fell in love with the girl at the rock show. She said what, daddy, 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 da, da. She's so cool, buddy, 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 papa. Everything's better when she's around. Can't wait till the parents go out of town. I fell in love with the girl at the rock show. That was pretty sick, eh? Blink 182. They're coming to Calgary June 30th. I better buy some tickets. What is 7.3 people smell dirty? Hmm. I can't lie to you guys. Some people feel aroused by... Okay, no, I don't smell them because of those reasons. <laughs> it sounds like I smell them every day. But no, I have before. That's just because like, for example, in, it's so bad saying this. This is so embarrassing. But like one in seven people do it, so. When I was in Costa Rica, we were there for just over two weeks and I ran out of underwear. So I had to rewear some underwear. <laughs> it's so bad. The reason I had to rewear is because we, we literally couldn't wash. Like the place that we were staying, we couldn't wash. We had to wait until this other place. But anyway, I did smell because I was unsure. Well, there's two reasons. One, to see like, <laughs> no, this is so bad. I can't be the only one. I smelled to make sure that they were clean. First of all, because like they're all mixed up. But second of all, when I used them all up, I smelled to see if they were like too dirty to wear. Okay, just let's just get on to the next one. One in 7.5 people fantasize about feet. And the most awaited moment for your partner is when you take off the shoe. Okay. One in eight people walk naked around the house. Okay, you know what? When I lived with my, okay, no. I'm not sure if they're talking about like underwear 
or like naked naked. The little cartoon image has underwear on, so let's just assume they're talking about underwear. When I was younger, I would literally never put on clothes. Like I would just rock around the house with the undies on. But as I got older, I started rocking around the house with undies and shorts on. And now that I moved out and live by myself, I still, I, I actually don't rock the undies. And the reason is I do go like after I have a shower at nighttime, I could rock the undies because no one is in the house, but I put shorts on. The reason is because sometimes I forget to like put down some curtains and the windows are wide open. And since all the lights are shining in the house and it's dark outside, if anybody looks in, they could literally see me. And that's the only reason. One in 8.1 people take out earwax with finger. I swear, uh, everybody should do that. My tactic now, guys, has been I clean my ears with my fingers in the shower. Back in the day, I used to get my mom to use a Q-tip and clean my ears. But using Q-tips, even your ears or your... Even your fingers is bad because like when you do this, it like jams the e-rex back in. But with fingers, you have fingernails so you can kind of dig and it's not as bad as q-tips. I don't even know what the correct way to do that would be. Like just to not, just to leave it. Because earwax is good after all guys. It blocks dirt from getting in your ears. Probably the best way to do it is like go to like an ear doctor and they clean it out. I don't even know. 1 in 8.9 people have conversations with pets. Nah, that's got to be closer to like 1.1 1. 1 in every 2 people or 1 in every 1 person. I swear if anybody has had a pet, I swear they have had to talk to their pet. I don't even know what I talk to my pet about, but like even just like, hey Jay, how's it going? How are you doing today? You know, like that's still talking to your pet. I swear everybody's talked to their pet. One in 9.5 people take phone calls in the toilet. In the toilet. I don't think I've ever taken a phone call in the toilet, actually. One in 10 people, oh, we're getting to the even numbers now. One in 10 people post a photo for your crush to see. Again, I swear everybody does that. Like even if it's not your crush. Like that's the whole reason of posting a photo for other people to see. One in 11 people shave your toes? That's new to me, news to me. One in 12 people pretend to be interviewed. I don't know about if I pretend to be interviewed, except I practice being interviewed before the interview. So I at least got like some questions like, maybe they're gonna ask me, Luke Davidson, what is your favorite content you've ever made? And I like come up with the answer in my head before the interview. So I like don't like stutter and have nothing to say. <laughs> One in 12.3 people fake a yawn to smell their breath. Nah, I've never done that. Maybe go like this. <sighs> But never have I done that. 1 in 13 people measure time in music. Way more people have to do that than pretend to yawn to smell their breath. 1 in 13.8 people stare at other people in the gym. I have a home gym, so I've never done that. 1 in 14 people have questionable movie tastes. The heck does that even mean? Your favorite movies make people fall asleep or feel terrified in the first five minutes. What's your guys' favorite movie type? Comment down below. Mine is thriller, I'd say. Or no, is it thriller? Yeah. My favorite movies are the ones that are like kind of scary. It doesn't even have to be scary, but just like close to the end, it just has like a massive twist. Like no one was expecting that. Or the best ones are when they have twist after twist after twist. I'll watch other movies. Like I'll watch action movies, but like thrillers, like the ones with the big twist, those, those are my favorite. One in 15 people dream of teeth falling off. Nah, have never done that. One in 17 people use, use partner's toothbrush. <laughs> I'm single, so I would never know. Not never, just I don't know yet. One in 20 people sleep with stuffed animals. I used to when I was a kid. Oh, actually, actually, actually. I do know people who do sleep with stuffed animals. I do have a stuffed animal in my room, but I don't sleep with it. It's on my, my nightstand. It was the first ever stuffed animal I ever got. His name is Puppy. And you guessed it, it's a puppy. One in 23 people shut all the doors before. Yes. Nah, only one in 23 people do that. So you're telling me if my classroom had 23 people in it, only me is the only one shutting all the doors before sleeping. Actually, no, that's a lie. The thing that came to my mind was like locking all the doors in the house, which I, I have to check every single night before I go to bed. I cannot go to sleep if I don't check to make sure the door is locked. Even if I know the door is locked, I got to go check just to make sure. One in 27 people never watch series until the end. If you never watch the final season, you'll never have post series depression. People do that. They love the show so much that they don't watch the final season. Nah, no one does. I could see people like stopping watching the show because it gets boring, which has happened to me multiple times. One in 32 people bite themselves? The food is almost ready. Just hang on that hunger a bit more. You're telling me people are biting themselves to make themselves less hungry or to make themselves like last a little longer to eat food? What the heck is wrong with people? I'm just kidding guys. If you do that, then you're weird. <laughs> One in 33.4 people dip chips in ice cream? Dipping chips in ice cream, that's a thing. I've never done that before. One in 36 people feel bad for inanimate objects. You ever accidentally kick or bump into furniture and apologize? Yes, all the time. Actually, not all the time. Sometimes I say, you tricked you guys. I didn't swear there. We put a bleep over that. But as you could probably see, let's do a replay. You.
My mouth didn't move. One in 50 people not having smelly, what? One in 50 people don't have smelly armpits. Actually, I've always thought that my armpits don't even smell that bad. Like in the school, I guess I was younger though. It's like I'd have some friends who, if they forget to put on deodorant, they would smell so bad. Yeah, I feel like I don't even stink that much. I put on deodorant guys, but like, I feel like if I didn't, I still doesn't get that bad. <laughs> One in 70 people count steps while walking. That's what we got the Apple Watch for, baby. One in 71.4 people skin pick starts with a little bit and suddenly turns into a bleeding and pain. Oh, that I was I was a little confused for a second. I was like, have I done that? I, was like, I know I've picked pimples, but oh my gosh, I just remembered. I haven't actually had a scrape in a long time. The last scrape I had was, I still have like a little, I think it's kind of scarred. But on my knee right here, I don't know if you guys can see, right here, I fell on my dirt bike and it was bleeding. And there's a big scab here. And okay, you guys gotta know this. Like whenever it's like healed and it, it'll actually peel off, but it's like healed, is so satisfying. But when it's not fully healed, that thing hurts so bad. And I need to stop picking pimples. Whenever I get a pimple, I seem to pick it and it just makes it worse. One in 80 people air dry after a shower. What, people do that? So what, you just stand in the shower until you're dry? It's gonna take ages. One in 81.2 people obs have an obsession with body odor. These people are constantly afraid of emitting a bad smell. Well, I thought it was like that they like, they are obsessed with like smelling bad, but I could see that. Who, who doesn't want to smell good for other people, right? One in 93.8 people take socks off on flights. What? You're telling me they just whip their feet up in the air and let the dogs out? I've never seen that, but okay. Oh, now we're getting to the big numbers. One in 120 people perform a cloverleaf tongue. I feel like I know like two people who have, who can do that. I just don't understand it. Like how the heck are you supposed to do that? One in 135 people escape planning. Oh, I, I thought it was like that many people don't like, like if they got a plan for an event, peace, they're out. But no, it, it meant they like they plan for natural disasters and things like that. And I used to do that when I was a kid, like, cause my, my bet, well, I mean, I still do that. Like I, I'm the worst at like overthinking. Like that's my, that's my biggest, the biggest thing I hate. Shouldn't hate yourself guys. But like, if there's one thing that I didn't like about myself is like how bad I am at overthinking and like worrying about things that haven't even happened, worrying about things that I've done in the past that are just like over with. And that is why the first tattoo I want to get guys is this. Not necessarily like in this font or in this place, but be here now. My idol, Wim Hof. Here's Wim Hof if you guys don't know. Wim Hof's the reason I started doing ice baths. But yes, Wim Hof is a legend. And that's one thing he says, be here now. And be here now is like, be in the present. Don't worry about things that haven't happened yet because they haven't happened yet. And most of the times, the things you're worrying about will not even be that bad. So just be here now. There's some motivational advice for you guys. <laughs> Back to the story. My bedroom was in the basement at my parents' house. And I was like, okay, if there's ever a fire, like, and I can't run up the stairs to get out of the house, like, how am I gonna get out? I gotta go out through the window. So I, I practiced like getting out through the window. So yes, I am one in 135 people there. Uh, one in 150 people write with both hands. I mean, I can write with one ha with both hands, but it, it won't be very pretty. <laughs> one in 200 people do extreme couponing. I've always thought that's pretty cool. Like I've seen videos where people literally make the store pay them money and they get like $200 worth of food. Like it's insane. One in 300 people bite toenails. I know people who bite their fingernails, but not their, actually, Maybe those people do bite their toenails, just not in public, so I can't see. That's kind of nasty. Comment below if that's one of you guys. If you're brave enough, that is. One in 342 people keep volume at an even number. Nah, more people do that. One in 1.3 thousand people chew ice cubes. Yes, I do. I actually have not done that in a long time. But when I used to live with my parents, I did that all the time. Like, actually, no, I still do that. At restaurants, I'm guilty. At restaurants, I do that. But I keep it on, like, the down low. So, like, if people are walking by, I, like... As soon as they go by. And finally, one in 50 million people drink blood. Well, some people drink animal blood. There are huge. People drink other. I've actually. There's a conspiracy theory, guys, that some people drink blood from younger people to de age themselves. Kind of creepy. But only one in 50 people, so, or 50 million people, so it's all good, right? Anyway, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to slap that like button. Slap the like button so hard that it does not break the screen because that would be very bad and I would owe you guys a new phone or tablet or computer or TV, whatever the heck you guys are watching this on. Turn on post notifications so you never miss another episode and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!